knew that I'd be down for the fall if it happened. So much unspoken. How do you do, YouTube fam, and welcome to another episode of Live, Love, and Learn with the PKs. And uh, we want to welcome all the new members, Karibu Sana, to our channel. Thank you for subscribing, and here we give you a chorus that goes Wero kabu na wakinya wa pike city downy Hey, because it's been a long time since we sang that uh, uh, chorus I feel like it's been a long time So, karibu sana, feel at home, feel at home And then you can attend pale mtapewa China gang gang And also the gang gang, thank you so so much for joining us time and time again Karibu ni sana pia nyinyi na mtaonesha wageni kwenye wanakunyonga ka China Thank you so much and if you are watching and you have not subscribed, kindly, kindly, please subscribe. Subscribe and also put on your notification bell. That way you'll be alerted anytime we put up a new video. Uh, like this video and also share and comment down below. Let us interact down below in the comment section. So today you are here with me. Uh, the missus because you guys have requested that I do some makeup tutorials and even in the beginning um, Of our channel we said we are going to be doing some beauty content And so I went on my Instagram and asked you guys what you wanted me to start with and most of you said uh, For me to start from scratch and so here I am Starting from scratch as you can see from the title of the video. We are going to be starting with an eyebrow tutorial sour sour Without further ado, guys, let us go straight into the tutorial. So the very first thing you are going to need is this brush that is called a spoolie. And I'm just going to be brushing my hair upwards to try and mimic the natural eyebrow. Um, and then you're also going to need a razor if and only if you need to trim out any hairs that are going to get in your way while drawing the eyebrow like what I'm doing so for me I don't have much uh, eyebrow hairs so I'm really really careful with my tail as you can see it really does not have any hairs <laughs> I can actually count the hairs <laughs> on the tail of my eyebrow so I am usually really careful when I am uh, shaving this is an eyebrow shaver and you can get this as, at Miniso. And I'm just getting rid of the hairs that, um, you know, have grown that are in my, are in my eyebrow area where I'm supposed to draw the eyebrow. And I'm also going to do the same to my, to my other eyebrow. Next, I'm going back with my spoolie and brushing my eyebrows again after the shave. And then the next product we are going to use is the eye pencil, of course. And I use Davis number no. 3. It's a brown one. So the first thing you should note and be very careful with is where your eyebrow should be starting. So where my eye pencil is, is like the beginning of your eyes where the, eye, the eyebrow should start. And where uh, my eye pencil is uh, right now, and you could just do exactly what I am doing, is where your eyebrow should arch. That should be your arch. And you could use your eyebrow to to mark those points i mean your eye pencil and where i'm pointing right now is where the eyebrow should end that is where the tail should end it should not go beyond that and even in the at the beginning it should not go beyond that so mark those three points especially if you are a beginner and then you should be good to go and then what i'm going to do now is just start drawing a line a line at the bottom of my brow I'm going to draw a line at the bottom and a line at the top just a line so I'm going to start with my bottom as you can see paying attention to the three focal points that I have shown you guys and you can use your eye pencil to mark those uh, points so that they can guide you 
draw the second line above the eyebrow and the second line as you can see i have not started it at the beginning like the first line it is a bit behind uh the first line because you do not want a block shape you do not want a box you guys have seen those eyebrows that look like boxes at the at the front <laughs> it shouldn't look like that another thing i forgot to tell you guys is that your eye pencil should be very very sharp very very sharp if you use a blunt eye pencil the results are not going to be the same and you're going to struggle so make sure that your uh, eye pencil is sharp and then uh, start filling in the um, places that have spaces like my tail my tail really needs a lot of filling in because as i have told you guys i really do not have any hairs so i'm using very very light strokes because what you're trying to do is mimic the eyebrow as you can see at the beginning of my eyebrow the strokes are going upwards they are facing upward because that is how a natural eyebrow would grow facing upwards this will also help to avoid that block that box shape at the front of the eyebrow so i'm using a very light hand uh, just using light strokes following the natural shape of my eyebrow as also as i fill out the bl the blank spaces of the eyebrow our goal is to make this eyebrow to look as natural as possible next we are going in with our concealer and our concealer is fawn i'm using la uh, pro girl concealer and what i'd advise for the concealer make sure you go a shade lighter than your normal shade so the shade lighter than my shade is fawn that is the one i'm going to be using and so very very gently go at the bottom of the eyebrow where you had drawn now this step is really really important you have to be really really careful because this is how this is where you uh, shape the final result of your eyebrow so even if you made a mistake or did not uh, get a very good result with the drawing the line uh, do not worry about that this is the like the final <laughs> step this is where you form now the shape that you are going for for the eyebrow so be very very careful do not use too much product um for me that's what i i say do not use too much product and by the way this brush i'm using you can use an an angled brush but i'm using a flat brush myself uh just make sure that um the brush that you're using is able to do the job and also a quick plug if you do not know where you can get these brushes we do have a business page where we sell uh, makeup products and it is called graciela glam i'm going to tag it uh, down there so that you can go and check out what we have we have all types of brushes we have makeup bags we have everything makeup so check us out uh, if at all you do not know where to get your brushes very affordable very good quality yes plug <laughs> so we are going to repeat the same process with the upper side of the eyebrow uh this upper side is usually a bit tricky so be very careful do not be in a hurry do not use a lot of product if you are a beginner just use foundation that is your skin tone for the top foundation but for me i go in with the concealer i use concealer for both up and down so just follow the eyebrow the one you had drawn earlier if you feel like you need to make any adjustments like if you want to make it uh, thinner you can do that with the concealer concealer is really good at shaping the eyebrow so you can make it thinner you can you know if the arch was too if you felt it was too high you can uh, resize it this is like final do not be in a hurry be just be gentle take your time and i know it takes a lot to learn about the eyebrow <laughs> game but uh, be patient and you're going to get there so all this while paying attention to the three points the beginning of the brow the arch and the tail
So in the process of cleaning or shaping uh, your eyebrow, you might have gone in with your concealer uh, to your eyebrow by mistake because basically what the concealer will do is it's going to rub your eyebrow where you had drawn it but do not worry about that you could always go back with your eye pencil and fill that out or maybe if you have noticed in the process that there is a cast space you have seen you could always go back with your eye pencil and fill it out so hapa unacheza na concealer na eye pencil until you you arrive at your desired uh, eyebrow or what you're going for so take your time take your time be patient and a lot of practice as well is really important in you know in improving your eyebrow game so practice 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 So now I believe I have reached my desired uh, eyebrow shape. So what I'm going to do is now uh, I'm going to blend in the concealer so that there's no that white line. Guys, please, that white line of the concealer, please do not let it be seen. Do not let it be visible. That is why you need a fluffy brush. That is a fluffy brush uh, that I am using to make sure that everything is blended out and that there is no concealer that is being seen it should not be visible that is why it is important for you as a beginner if you um if you know you're not going to be able to blend just use foundation especially for the upper part of the eyebrow and as i have said you just go in with your eye uh, with your eye pencil if you feel that there are other blank spaces that are left for me for the for the tail i like to really uh, make sure that it is really really filled out Then now I am done and the final uh, step is using this spoolie that by the way if you do not have a spoolie you can use an old mascara one that is cleaned. I'm going to brush uh, my eyebrows going up so that I'm going to remove excess product and so that I'm going to even it out. Uh, so that there are not some places that are that have more eye pencil than the other so that there's, it's going to be even and there's not going to be some darker spots than the other because you want to achieve, again, you want to achieve a natural eyebrow. That is what you're going for. You don't want a dark eyebrow or an eyebrow where some parts are darker than the other. And also, as you can see, I'm brushing it going up. Also, another hack, I'm using my finger at the front to achieve that um, fading effect, yeah? I really, really hate those blocks. So I want that fading effect. That's why I used my finger. Again, keep going in with the eye pencil if you feel that there are some spaces that are blank or have uh, no eye pencil or have not been uh, filled out properly. And, you know, make sure that you keep achieving your final look and i guess we have our final look guys yeah that is the final final eyebrow so i just went ahead and did the same to my other eyebrow off camera and that is the results so guys it is as simple as that remember the eyebrows are sisters not twins okay <laughs> it is very hard to achieve a similar result result for both uh, eyebrows but at least make them to be in the same family no let them be sisters easy to discuss say hi to guys oh must come to end video Hi guys. Hi yeah, guys. hi guys. I'm here. <laughs> I was doing the eyebrows. You just saw what I did. Tell me if I did right or wrong, Apuchini. I'll be back. 
Uh, okay guys so that is as simple as that and um, uh, make sure that you comment if you have any questions if you have any suggestions uh, if you have additions subtractions make sure to comment in the comment section and also remember there are diff very many different types of eyebrows kuna zile no no kuna different shapes of eyebrows so it will depend with the shape of your face and the type of you know the type of eyebrow that you want so i'd also advise that you go watch very many other eyebrow tutorials and see different shapes and how you can you know uh, perfect your eyebrow game so, so, so i hope this video has been of help and if you have learned some one thing or two if you have learned something give this video a thumbs up again if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly consider subscribing and let us grow together Cindyo. and then i will see you or rather we shall see you now with babe we shall see you in the next episode of live love and learn bye i wanna be stranded with you every morning i'm a